Hey there, thanks for tuning in. It's uh, Elvira's here, helping you connect the dots between mind and body. And today I want to talk a little bit about gratitude and the effect it has on your body. I'm sitting outside, it's beautiful weather here. It's hot as a matter of fact, it's 102 Fahrenheit. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's only the 12th of April, so <coughs> yeah, it's hot already. But still, I'm very grateful for that. So, just being grateful, just expressing that in affirmations, you know, I'm, I'm so happy and grateful for the peace that I have found in my life, um, the, peaceful resist, the, the peaceful existence in my life just makes me feel happy. And how does that feeling of being grateful affect my body? Well. Being grateful is a positive vibration and any positive vibration has a good effect on the body. The cells are happy, they're vibrating high and they're warding off the, um, anything that flows in the air or comes to you that is negative, that is viral, the bacteria, you name it. it. It cannot really penetrate your body because you are vibrating at a high level. Now, just to help you perhaps a little bit more understand, there is a difference between gratitude and appreciation. So gratitude is being grateful for everything that you have so far in your life, that you have accomplished, that you have um, received. That is the gratitude. Appreciation is actually being grateful for that it, what is yet to come appreciation has that expectation vibration in it high vibration also when you express your appreciation for somebody just say it in an email or say it just i really i really appreciate what you've done for me you know in a in a in a, in a shop where you bought something or, you know it's not only the person that feels good, but you feel good, good yourself because it comes from an entity, you, that is on a high level of vibration. That doesn't necessarily mean that the recipient will understand it, but it somehow helps them feel good on a level. So just express the gratitude, express the appreciation, because it's all, you know, it's all the law of attraction. What you give out, you get more back of it, you know, just do it and more comes back. And I would like so much for you to become aware of that, that what you give out, you get back. That is the law of attraction. I cannot change it. The law of attraction is uh, the sister, I always call it the sister of the law of uh, gravity. You wouldn't climb onto the roof and test the law of gravity, would you? I mean, you've learned that when you climb onto the roof and you jump, you go down, you don't go up. So the law of vibration is something that is real and just accept it. It's the law. It's one of the laws of the universe. And when you are aware of that and you look at your life and you see that there is there's areas or maybe more than one or two areas in your life where there is negativity, where it's not going the way you want it, just step back and look at what are you thinking about that really, really deep. And then, of course, the, just the famous one, ask yourself seven times why. You get an answer and why am I thinking that? Just go deeper and deeper and deeper and see if you come up with something that you say like, now I get it, I can eliminate that kind of thinking. Because everything in the mind is expressed. It's either expressed verbally, but for the most part it's also expressed physically in your body. And if you do that often enough, you get disharmony in the body. There's no harmony. You're not in alignment with the positive person that you really are because of all the negativity you have created around you. You have adapted that from your environment. That's the so-called epigenetics. So when you are aware of that, you can change it. Now, you may not find it easy. That's okay. I can help you with that. If you, if you want more of this 
And if you want to ask questions, and if you are a little bit hesitant perhaps, I'm going to launch a membership uh, site in a couple of months and direct message me if you're interested in being a founding member of that. I cannot, this is all very raw, it's an idea, it's very raw. I have walked around with the idea for some times and now I go like, you know what? Our membership site is probably what, what women want because this is for only women, it's not for men. I'm sorry, I love men, but I work only with women. And so if that is for, of interest, direct message me because I would love to get your feedback. I would love to work with you growing this solid community for women where you will feel safe to ask any questions, where we can educate ourselves, where we can laugh together, maybe cry together, where we help each other improve our lives, move forward. And so let me know in a, in a direct message, that would be great. But in the meantime, if you're on the shelf, on the, on, the, on the edge, and you go like, nah, I don't know if I'm really so grateful of this or that, just look around you at all the things that you already have acquired. First of all, if you're watching me, that means you have a cell phone or you have a laptop. Secondly, you can see, you can hear, you probably have clothes on your body, probably have a roof over your head. That's, those are all things that you can be very grateful for. There is, there is a whole slew of people who don't even come close to that. You probably have food in the refrigerator and know that everything that you don't really like, you can improve. It's all a mindset. It's all here in the mind. I point at that, but that's actually the brain. The mind is all around you in the, uh, the quantum field around you, the energy field around you. So let me know if you're interested in learning more about this. Direct message me. I, um, I would love to build a very good community with like-minded women. So until then, until I hear from you, I wish you all the best and um, a beautiful weekend. Take care.